Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I recently cut off all my hair, took all my extensions out, and went back to more of my natural color with a little bit of sun-kissed blonde pieces here and there. I've really been loving the look, and I thought I would share with you the three easy ways I've been styling it. So I'm gonna take you through my entire routine, all the products I've been loving recently, tools, share all of my secret tips with you guys. I think it is such a fun thing, like when you get new hair to figure out new ways to do it. I've been having a lot of fun with it recently, and I've been trying to find the best products that give my hair lots of natural body and volume and make it appear a lot thicker than it actually is. So I'm going to show you how I do kind of like a volume blowout, how I do my hair when I want to wear it straight, and then also these kind of beachy waves which are my go-to. So if you want to see how I get this look, keep watching. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for coming and clicking on this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make videos every week on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, mom stuff. So definitely subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, you should click that little bell notification. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So you'll be one of the first to see it and check it out and leave me a comment. I just got out of the shower about 10 minutes ago. Usually I do my skincare, body care, all that. Let my hair air dry for a good like 10 to 20 minutes depending on the amount of time I have. I usually don't like to let it air dry all the way because as you can see I naturally have like some wave and some curl in my hair so it can get kind of frizzy and if I just let it air dry it'll go super frizzy especially here in humid florida so i like to blow dry it and get it as smooth as possible give me a lot of volume so in the shower i use a couple different shampoos and conditioners i really like to switch it up so my favorite brands are Kerastase, which is like probably the most expensive brand i use so I don't always do that, but that's my favorite, like the pink bottle or the blue bottle. Those are really good if you have dry hair, color-treated hair. Um, Shu Umera is also really good. It keeps your hair super soft. I love Aveda, Redken, like the shampoo and conditioner. I seriously switch up all the time. So basically, as long as it's a salon quality, I'm good with it. I usually do something that's good for color or good for dry hair, and I use up that bottle, and then I go buy something else. So that's what I do for shampoo and conditioner and for products. I switched that up a lot too. My favorite brands are Drybar, Whey, and Aveda. I kind of switched stuff up in between that too, but um, I did go to Aveda for hair school almost 10 years ago now, which is crazy. So whenever I use their products, I just always like, the smell just like brings me back and it's all like good memories. So I ordered a bunch of their stuff on Amazon and I've been loving it recently. I feel like their products are really good if you want lots of natural volume in your hair and you love that look of like a big voluminous blowout. So the first thing I'm gonna put in my hair is the Dry Remedy Daily Moisturizing Oil. So I always use an oil in my hair. This is a pure oil, it's not a serum. So you just need like a tiny, tiny bit. So on the bottle, it literally says two to four drops. Oh shit, of course I did more. That should be okay. But I just do a couple drops in my palms and kind of do mid lengths to ends. I would say my hair is pretty healthy, but I do get highlights, so I like to protect it and give it lots of moisture. Volumizing Tonic, I love this product. I have used this product for probably like 15 years off and on. It is so good. So basically, you just spray it at your roots and it's gonna give you tons of volume. Like if you like that look of like bouncy hair, big natural hair and you don't want to always tease put this on the crown on your roots and it will give you that volume okay so i spray that all over now this is my new favorite this is the thickening tonic i know it looks really similar but this is just going to give you volume at your roots like height this is going to actually make your hair appear a lot thicker like it gives your hair density i have been getting so many comments from you guys being like oh my god your hair looks so thick and full this like literally balloons up your hair like each strand and makes it fuller it's really weird but i think it is so cool and i can definitely tell a difference so i spray this just kind of all over um and then i usually do like a heat protectant too but i don't have one on me actually Maybe I do. One second. I'm back. I have this one. Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry with Primer. Primer. Blow Dry Primer and Heat Protection. Let me just do a little bit of that. Now, you don't have to use tons of products after the shower, but I do think it's important to have a little routine. If I apply product, my hair comes out so much better and lasts a lot longer. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna brush everything through. I'm using a tangle teaser. I love this thing. It just helps work all the product into your hair, get rid of any knots or tangles, keeps it really smooth. I will link all my products and tools down below for you guys as well, so you can check them out. Blow dryer, this one is from T3. I love all of their hair tools. I have a couple of their blow dryers, tons of their curling irons, their flat iron. They are just super high quality. They don't damage your hair, but they give you great style that holds for days and really lasts. So I am super impressed with their tools. I've been using them for a couple years now. They never disappoint me. So I, I highly recommend them. They are definitely an investment but it's not something that you buy all the time. Like I'd say a blow dryer could last you five years. Same with like a curling iron. If you take care of it, they can last you years. So I'm just gonna rough dry my hair and blow dry it. Kind of just using my fingers to brush through it for about five, six minutes until it's like 85% dry. That was only about three or four minutes. This stuff, all these products with this dryer really dries your hair super fast. I'd say it's about 85% dry now. So what I'm gonna do, you can use a clip or whatever. I got this pack of scrunchies on Amazon. They're all so cute. They're like little velvet scrunchies in a bunch of different colors. And I think they look cute if you do a top knot or like a little half top knot, low bun, anything. They look cute on your wrist. So I've been using scrunchies lately. And I like them. So now we're just gonna section off our hair and this is where you're gonna start smoothing it. I've done tutorials like this in the past. Like anytime I get a new hairstyle, I do tutorials like this. Um, so this part is not different. All right, this is my favorite round brush. It's also from T3. I'd say this is the easiest to use if you you know, wanna do like a blowout style look at home. So basically, I've showed you guys how to do this so many times, but you just kind of have to hold the, each section of your hair taut, place the heat on it, and slowly drag it down with the heat still on it. And then if you want to get that bend in the end, you rotate the brush round and round and apply the heat at the same time. So you kind of just have to watch. The reason I don't do my makeup before is because I always get sweaty doing this. So I'm on my last section here. You guys can see I have tons of natural volume. I have a little bit of curl. I haven't used a curling iron or anything yet. So if I don't have like, so I've only been filming for 17 minutes. So it's not like it takes me a long time. It takes me, you know, 
probably when I'm not filming about 12 minutes, but if I really am in a hurry and just don't feel like doing that, I'll basically just to split my hair only into two sections and just keep it super fast and just do bigger sections. That's the way that I do it faster. But I usually only wash my hair twice a week, so I don't mind spending, you know, like a half an hour doing my hair to make sure it stays in the style that I want it to be in and it lasts for a couple days. So I do a middle part, so I leave this part for the end. If you do a side part, you probably wanna leave a chunk like on an angle um, but basically here is where you're going to create the most volume so you're going to blow dry it down and back around kind of like this and that's going to give you tons of volume and it's going to make your part look really nice and kind of like frame your face so i just take sections back and you can put them in hot rollers i'm not hot rollers um velcro rollers if you want and kind of like blow dry it and then leave it to set like that while you do your makeup but it's not that big a deal for me. If I need more volume, I'll usually just tease it a little bit. And lay it over your hand. Last piece. So now your hair is 100% dry. You have all this volume in, so you can create your part. Now, I don't have a comb on me. And I typically don't use a comb. So you can kind of tell like it has tons of natural body and volume and there was no teasing no rollers like nothing like that involved and you really don't even need it okay so if i want that bouncy kind of like sweet playful look i will just spray this with a little hairspray maybe do a little teasing in the crown here and that's about it but if i want something a little bit more sophisticated and sleek i will run over it with my flat iron which is just about heated up and mainly just go over the parts that tend to get frizzy like around my hairline, hello postpartum, baby hair is growing everywhere. <laughs> I have like the shortest baby hairs all over my hairline. So sometimes I like to smooth those out. That top layer can sometimes get a little frizzy because I have the majority of my highlights there. my bangs to be a little sleeker so you can probably tell the difference this is very smooth and chic but it still has that natural volume it's just a lot smoother sleek and straight with lots of volume and then there is my go-to look which is what I typically do most days because it requires the least amount of upkeep and I just love the look of loose curls it's kind of like my signature beachy wave look. So I will use any T3 curling iron. I have that World Trio that has a bunch of different heads you can attach to it. I love that. But I actually have this one here at the condo. It's just a one inch curling iron. That way if I wanna do kind of more of the traditional curled look, I can use the barrel or I can use it like wand. I have a lot of different options with this. I just think the one inch is a good size for my hair length right now. So this should be heated up. I just go ahead and do like one little curl. This is super simple. So normally I would not flat iron my hair before doing this. I would just use this and I would kind of go like this to smooth out that piece and then do that one curl and that's it. You do not need to do both. But you guys will see just how fast this is. Sometimes I'll section it like I did today, and then sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll do curls in varying directions, and sometimes I won't. I just pretty much do something different, depending on my mood. But what I don't like is a very curled look. So while the hair is still hot, I will pull down on it and kind of straighten it out with my fingers, brush it out. That's the trick, is you don't want to let it cool and that super curled look.
If I want to tease my hair, I will do it from eyebrow level up. So basically, I just split it into three sections, side, side, back. Spray with a little hairspray. And just do a tiny bit of teasing. It does not take much effort and you get tons of volume. So I don't like go crazy with it. I don't like do big motions, just tiny little motions right at the root in just a little bit and you get that much volume. So like less is more when it comes to actually doing the teasing, you will get a lot more volume. I'll curl these sections before I actually brush it out. This front piece I'm actually gonna wrap around. So I have a little bit more control with a wrap. Texturizing dry shampoo, texturizing hairspray. Messy, beachy. Some people might say <laughs> that I spent all this time doing my hair and it doesn't look like I did anything, but that is the look that I like. I sometimes tuck my hair behind my ears but that's it. All right, you guys, so here is what it looks like with dressed and with some makeup on. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thought I'd share with you the three easy ways I've been doing my hair recently. I'm really into this mid-length hair. I just feel like it feels fresh and fun for spring and summer. So if you enjoyed this and you like seeing tutorials on my channel, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're new. I make videos every week on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all kinds of stuff, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.